My mum said to me the other day, she was like, maybe you could make some positive music next. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not positive. Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl, and today we're here at iHeartRadio headquarters in New York City, and we're hanging out with Tom Odell. Tom, it's nice to see you. How Welcome you to New York. Welcome to iHeartRadio. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. It's funny we were just talking. I was just in London. You're here in New York. We swap spots. We swap spots. I really liked London. Which was your favorite bit? Um, well, I did a lot of vintage shopping in Shoreditch. That's where we stayed. But I was only there for a couple of days, but right. I really liked it. It's a little colder than I expected. Yeah. What was the worst thing about London? <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. Um, the worst thing about London. Well, I feel like for the people there, I kept pretending I was on an episode of Love Island. So right. I think I was probably the worst part for everyone who interacted right. with me. Like British Love Island. Yeah. yeah. Is that a thing over here then? Yeah. What they like? What pe people like watching British Love Island? I love it. I, in fact, I live for it. Really? Do you watch Love Island? I don't, but I think it's 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 quite. Um, it's quite good for musicians to get their songs on there. Yeah, would you ever perform on the show? They do like little cameos. Too. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that though. I, I, no. Yeah, that's the last thing. There's many things I want to do before doing that. You have new music out. Let's dive into music now. Yes, music. Best Day of My Life, your new album. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, thanks. How are you feeling? Tell us about the project. Well, it just feels like a long time ago now, even though it was yeah. in, just in October. <clears throat> yeah, I'm really, really proud of it. Your first album, first independent album. First independent first, album. Not, <laughs> fifth studio album, first independent album. Yeah. How did that change your creative process? Or how did your process change with this one? None of the nasty major label people were around, which is nice. Yeah. But no, I'm in all seriousness, I'm, I'm super proud of, um, I'm super proud of the album. And it was like a, a labor of love. And it's just, it's just piano and vocal. And you grew up playing instruments, right? Yes. And uh, playing the piano. Yes. When did you like first like find an interest in that? Like, who encouraged that in you? So my grandma had a piano, and she used to play it at her house. And she used to have like, I remember she used to, her like jewelry and her fingernails used to like tap on the keys, and I used to sit with my back against it, and listen to her playing. And that's my earliest piano memory. And then I started playing it and then I started having piano lessons and she'd take me to piano lessons like every Tuesday evening or Wednesday evening. I can't remember. What, it was an evening. And then the piano teacher had, she would like make cakes. And I always remember the smell of cake. Ooh, oh, that's, a nice, that's such a nice, cozy memory. When did you write your first song? Not long after that, like maybe nine or ten. I, was, I, was, I got into songwriting very early and I was... You know, it was something that I've I've been incredibly obsessed with since I was a kid, and and you know that's the thing I'm really interested in. If I'm being honest with you, really like, is the songwriting process. Yeah, like you know, the rest of it I can take or leave, but the the songs is like that's what drives me. So when you when you are like writing or you're in that space, what does that look like for you? Where do you find inspiration? Where does creativity strike? Well, that yeah, it's an elusive thing that and often when you most want it to strike it doesn't i have a studio in in hackney and i have a p I have two pianos in there and that's where i do most of my writing but i you know i scribble things down what comes first like the lyrics the music do you just vibe and see what flows uh, is it a mix it's a mix yeah often actually i'd say that for example like i had this song that i wrote recently called end of the summer and it was like I certainly feel like I'd had this phrase end of the summer and I was interested in like some weirdly actually some photos of like of like what the light is like at the end of the summer mm. and like how it becomes more intense and golden and orange and you get more intense shadow and I had some photos saved at that and then I had this melody which didn't have any w w lyrics on it and then you know, it, it was like a marriage of the two. I also think it's so cool. I, I love like documenting on, on your YouTube, you document your songs and I thought it was interesting. Oh, what on the, the yeah, for each of the songs. Yeah, yeah like that talking nice about, that. I really liked that. I yeah. enjoyed it, it was interesting. It was a little peak and even Best Day of My Life started out as a different title. It was called Worst Day of My Life. Yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a sort of very sad song in a way that 
I think is still sad. It's sort of, but it was that interesting thing of like, well, me myself, I'm very prone to like e extremities in in my emotions. Like, like in one day, I can feel like everything's doomed, and mm -hmm. I and I and, and I and I hate everything, and and then in that same afternoon, you know, I can be euphorically happy, and I think like that's kind of what inspired that song, mm. you know, like the the the. The the, the the roller coaster in a you know in a down state like how do you get out what do you do to like to bring to bring yourself back I guess well it's so hard isn't it because if you feel like that it's like you know it's like even my girlfriend it's like she gets like that as well sometimes and it's like when you're not in it and you see someone in it you just you kind of just want to be like just remember that it's just it's a passing state it's not permanent it's not who you are mm. you know if you feel depressed or sad it's like but but when you're in it, and when I've been in it myself, it's impossible to, right. to see that. You you see, it, we're consumed by our the current state of our emotions, and I think in a strange way, like meditation and delving into that sort of spiritual stuff has been the most helpful to me personally. I don't think it's helpful to everyone, but I think that's what that whole album was actually about in a way was trying to live more presently and understand that, you know, there's this thing of like, you know, anxiety is being stuck in the future, you know, con being concerned about what's gonna happen next and depression's being stuck in the past, which is, a, I think is a loose way of, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's right, but like- No, I know what you're saying, yeah, or it's like, it, it's it's focusing on, on what you have now and enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely, but it's so hard to do, it's hard. It's so hard to do. Yeah. But I think there's so much stuff in modern culture, or not modern culture, but there's so much stuff in modern living that wants us to not be in the present. It, 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 it wants us to live elsewhere, live, in, you know, live more in our minds, our egos. and. It was so cool to see too, obviously, another love that is so, so popular. It sort of had this resurgence on TikTok. You released Another Love in 2012, is that yeah. right? Yes, 2012. Yeah, yeah. How was it for you getting to see it, you know, talking about the power of music, getting yeah. to see it have this whole, I don't even wanna say second life because people love the song still, but getting to see it take on new meaning, what was that like for you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's it, <clears throat> remarkable, yeah. Like, it's, I'm so, so happy about it. It's, um, it's so weird and I'm so rubbish at answering questions about it because I can't seem to ever find the words that sort of suffice or describe the feeling because it's like I don't know it's weird like oh, actually outside I met this 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 of uh, uh, like I never get spotted in New York City although once oh, I really? did I did actually Surprise. once I did once by some cops and I thought I was being uh, <laughs> I thought I was being arrested <laughs> Because uh, I jaywalked, and someone had been like, someone had been like, you know, if you jaywalk, you're gonna you're gonna get in trouble. And I was like, like whatever. And then these these cops, and they put their thing on, and the guy, the 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 policeman, got out of the car, and was like, walked towards me aggressively, and I was like, Jesus, you're like this is it, this is it, a, a, a life in prison um, <laughs> ahead of me. <laughs> and what they say? He was like, it was weird. I mean, it was really weird. It was like his sister was a fan or something, or I don't know. I was like, I had an even weirder thing happen to me the other day. Or just to elaborate, where I was like, I was in the park in my local park in London. And I can tell the story because I, I I don't get stopped very often. So I was to say, but in London, I feel like you probably get stopped a lot. Not more, really, no? no. Like occasionally, I was walking through the park and this um, with with my girlfriend and. And this guy was like on the other side and he was like walking in the other direction and he was like staring at us, like kind of aggressively. Mm. And in the end, I was like, I like, I, he was staring at us so much. I was like, I was like, what, what's going on, man? <laughs> like, uh, and, and he was like, um, he looked like a sort of normal dude. But as soon as I said that, he just like flipped out, like started screaming at me like threatening to kill in me. A, oh, I thought you were gonna say in a fan positive no, way. No, not no, in like a really, a, a very aggressive, like 
like Georgie was like walking back and I was like he was sort of squaring up to me like screaming in my face that he wanted to hurt me it was then like a pause and he was like oh you know he went from like fuck you fuck you I'm gonna fucking kill you and then and then he was like uh he was like also you look like that fucking singer and and I was like I, I don't know why but I was like I am that singer and he was like because I was like, oh, maybe this is a way out of him not killing me. <laughs> See, I would have said, I've never heard of that guy. I gotta yeah. go. And, and, and he was like, what? You're, you're Tom O'Dell? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh my God, bro. I'm like, a, I'm a huge fan. And he like went from this, like, I went, oh, what? He, he then like gave me this huge cuddle. And he was like, I fucking love your music. So, I, mean, almost, I love you like, so much. I'm going to kill you. He was like, he was like emotional. And then. But this all happened in like 15 seconds. And I sort of walked away. And like me, I was just like, this, that was, it was definitely like the strangest experience I've ever, I've ever had. So did you just walk away? Were you like, have a good day? Like, how do you end something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was like, I think, I think we could be friends even maybe. <laughs> that is the wildest fan story. Yeah, it was pretty intense. It was, it was very, very intense. Yeah, it was, it was. I wouldn't want to go through it again, but, I'm, but like, I'm, I'm happy I did. But what a time. Yeah. So you're also about to meet a lot more of your fans. I hope that person's going to go to a show. Yeah. <laughs> it's a step too far. <laughs> Just being in the market set. Um, you're getting ready to go on tour. Yes. How are you preparing for tour? Are you excited? Uh, not really preparing very much, no. actually. No. Because I'm trying to finish some music. So um, I'm sort of mad trying to do that. But we will be preparing soon um, for the tour. And we're going all over the place. My October tour in the United States of Let's America. Let's go. Because you're, you're playing in New York, I know that. What's the point of talking about my European shows when I'm here? <laughs> you're here. Uh, so I'm touring America. Anywhere you haven't been before that's on the list? Lots of places. Really? Yeah. Like where? Columbus. Ohio? It's, I think I haven't been there before. Yeah, OK. Uh, Nashville. I've been, oh. to, I've been to Nashville, but See, I feel like once. you're going to love Nashville. But I've never played there, and I've oh, always... That's, I'm really excited that's about That's going to be a fun one. Yeah. And then that kicks off in the fall, you yeah. said, right? Okay. Yeah. And then... October. October. Yeah, the whole of October. The whole of October. And there's still some tickets available. And then you're working on new music, you said. Working on new music, yeah. Anything you can tell us about that? My mum said to me the other day, she was like, maybe you could make some positive music next. <laughs> And it's not positive. <laughs> Good. We, we, we need the sad music. We need that. The sad boy music. I guess the thing I feel is like, if you want positive music, you know, you can just go somewhere else and listen to someone else. What's the point listen? in yeah. me being positive as well? Who do you listen to for positive music? I don't really listen to that much positive music. <laughs> what, what's pos what would be positive? Uh -huh. Like, um, Happy by Pharrell. That, that puts you in a good mood? That's the only one I think I know. <laughs> What's like a new positive song? A new positive. Um, well, my mind goes to like Taylor Swift has some upbeat ones. Yeah. Um, She's got some positive songs. She had some positive songs. Although like, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> That's not that positive. It's not positive, you're no. right. But it's like, but it feels positive because it's like, it's upbeat. Yeah. Um, I, I have to I have to be honest. Oh, Lizzo's a good one. Lizzo's positive. I, She's great, Lizzo. I, go, I love yeah, Lizzo. Yeah, Lizzo's great. I go more sad as well. I listened to the new Jack Harlow song. What do you think? I liked that, yeah. It's good. Sounds like he's going to take over the world <laughs> with his lyrics. Um, <laughs> it does. Maybe I should sing about achieving good, good great things. I, I just sing about how good. sad I am. I should just sing about how much I'm going to achieve great things. <laughs> I don't know why I don't do that. Why more. don't you actually just cover a Jack song on yeah, the album? That's a good idea, actually. Yeah. Should you? Okay. Give, yeah. give I Heart credit for that if you do that. And there were other good songs. I, I tell you which song I, oh, this is definitely sad. I like Post Malone a lot. I like that song Chemicals. Ooh. Yeah. Is that from the, the yellow album art cover? I think I know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what the artist is. Okay, like, yeah. But it's this, this newer one. Yeah. Uh, He's so good. And who else do I like? Do I like David Kushner. Ooh. It's new. That's a big song. That's. Who else? Who else? I didn't think anyone actually asked me what I'm into, but I'm telling you anyway. Tom, this has been so fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I really have too. Yeah, thanks so much. I'm so excited to hear all your new music. I'm excited to see you on tour. Thanks and so much. And you're actually, they don't get to see this, everyone at home, but you're about to play some songs for iHeartCrew tonight. I am. Are you feeling ready for that? Yeah. 
I think I'm not going to make it through. No, you're the best. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. Thanks. For everyone watching, make sure you go stream all of Tom's music on iHeartRadio, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Cheers. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.